In Dungeon Defenders, the main goal is to defend the Eternia Crystals. While you can set up defenses during the build or combat phase, the build phase is your chance to analyze the map's layout and plan your defenses without facing an onslaught of enemies. From the minimap, you can examine a map's layout, what enemies are coming from each location, treasure chest locations, where players are, and the health and the placement of all of your defenses. We actually joke around the office that during the combat phase, our minimap alone looks like many other tower defense games. This information is very important in setting up your defenses. For example, if a lot of kobolds, our quick, small, explosive enemy type, are coming from one direction, you'll know you'll need to keep a lot of high HP defenses to protect that choke point. If you see other enemies, like the mage, an enemy unit which heals other enemies and summons minions of its own, you'll know to keep it in mind for the combat phase so you can pick them off before they get too close to your defenses. Dungeon Defenders is focused on player's choice and allows players to shape and control each mission. You can place defenses wherever you want and even choose their orientation. The combination of towers you choose to place is also very important. Do you want to place a low HP magic blockade that will strip enemies of their resistances and a fireball tower behind it? Or a high HP square blockade and make sure to take out the fire resistant enemies on your own during combat? There are so many different ways to defend each map. We're constantly surprised with the greatest setups that our testers themselves have used to complete each mission. The final major aspect of the build phase is the forge. We often find groups of players congregating around it at the beginning of each build phase. Here you can sort the equipment you found, upgrade your items and pets, sell to the shop, and trade with other players. You can even swap between heroes and create new heroes on the fly. When players are ready to enter the combat phase, they can go up to the Eternia Crystal and activate it to start a countdown timer. Once all of the players have readied up, it'll flip over to the combat phase.